What's up, survivalists? Malcolm here, Survival Know How, and today we're going to talk about the Sog Tomahawk. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. I put out content on about survival, prepping, and self-reliance. So if you're new here, subscribe and hit that little bell icon to stay current on my latest content. So I gotta admit guys, I am having a lot of fun with this SOG Tomahawk. Now specifically, this is the SOG Survival Hawk. So there are a couple of differences. They've actually got a couple of different variations of their Tomahawk and I'll run through that. But is this really a practical tool? Should you guys really buy this? Is this really gonna replace your survival knife out in the woods? Let's talk about it. So like I was saying, this is made by SOG and this is their survival version of this Tomahawk. There's not many differences in the survival version. So let me point out a couple of features of this thing and what you guys can do with this. So first off, it's got paracord wrapped around the handle. I guess that's kind of what makes it the, uh, the survival version of it. I gotta be honest though, if you ever actually use this paracord, this thing is gonna become incredibly uncomfortable to use after that point. So back here, it's got a nifty little tool and this is for prying up nails. Supposedly, you can also cut chain link fence with this little tool here on the edge. Both sides of the tomahawk has this little flat textured area right here and here. And you can actually use this to hammer in nails if you like to. There's also, down here hidden in the bottom, is a ferro rod. This unscrews like this and gives you a little fire striker right there. Uh, it feels pretty cheap, feels pretty flimsy, but nonetheless, that's a nice little bonus source of fire right there. Uh, obviously, you wanna make sure this is one out of like four sources of fire that you have on yourself if you're going out in the woods. Finally, it has a pretty sharp, uh, sharp little blade right here. Now this bottom part here is not sharpened at all, right? This is it's all pretty blunt right here. It's only this front edge here that is sharp. And overall, this thing weighs 20 ounces. Tomahawk also comes with a ballistic nylon sheath with a belt clip, which is a nice little feature. And the belt clip is at an angle as well, just to make it a little bit more comfortable so it's not knocking up against your legs. It'll sit kinda, kinda like that on your waist. All right, so is this going to replace your survival knife? No freaking way, absolutely not, man. I gotta be honest, there's not that many practical uses for this thing, uh, especially when you're considering you're talking about camping out in the woods. You're not gonna be using this thing for chopping wood. You're not really gonna be using this to, to start fires or, or do anything that you typically use a survival knife for. But I really think this is actually a very practical tool for urban survivalists, right? I think this makes a fantastic self-defense weapon. And I, I sincerely mean that because this thing is scary as f looking. If I was in a city during a major blackout and I saw somebody walking around with a f***ing tomahawk, uh, I would sh my pants, man. This thing is very intimidating. It is very scary looking. One blow with the back of this thing to your skull and it, it's, it's a one shot kill right there. In the military, they have this concept called a show of force. That if you can look intimidating, and you can look threatening, people won't mess with you. This is a way to de-escalate a confrontation. If you show your force and show what you can do, people will avoid having conflict with you. Now let's say there's a major blackout and you're a punk and you're looking for somebody that you can rob. You see one guy there, you yell at him and he pulls out a knife like this. Okay, yeah, you may be analyzing the situation like, yeah, it's not a big knife, I could probably still take him. Now let's say the same scenario, and that guy pulls out a fucking tomahawk like this, you're gonna be thinking twice, all right? I think this is such an intimidating weapon that this is an excellent show of force in extreme civil unrest situations. So if you're looking for a good self-defense weapon, I think this is a perfect candidate. I think that's what this is really for and what it's really designed for. Then you throw in the other functions of being able to pry up nails and break chain link fences and hammer nails. You know, those are all just perks to it. But really, this is a fantastic self-defense weapon. And it is also a lot of fun to throw at trees. All right, so it's time for the question of the day. I wanna hear your opinion on this because this is just my opinion. You know, I think this makes a great self-defense weapon. I think it is very intimidating, but I wanna hear what your thoughts are. Would you buy this and use this as a self-defense weapon? If you saw somebody walking around with this, is this more intimidating 
than somebody walking around with a, a knife like this. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want more information about the song Tomahawk, I'll have it down in the description below, along with affiliate link if you guys want to support the channel. And if you're new here, I put out content all about prepping, survival, and self-reliance. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to stay current on my latest content. I'll see you over in the next video.